All right, so for today's video, I'm gonna start off by letting you know we have an official sponsor, PH Performance Water. Uh, if you wanna check it out, PH Performance, what are they on Instagram? Uh, PH Performance Water. What do you know? Uh, <laughs> I gotta give a shout out just for the hustle. The owner, Cedric, lives in DC, is a local company, and he saw us and reached out, drove up from DC, and brought the cases himself for us to mention in this video. So if you wanna check them out, go for it. And on to today's video, we're gonna hit you, upper body. So we're doing shoulder taps. Ready? Okay, so first step, shoulder, Chris is gonna come into your shoulder, shoulder position. Push up position with their hands right under your shoulders. Her abs are pulled in tight so there's no sag. Her hips pull them a little higher. Yeah, okay, good. Now, you wanna mention the tip you were saying from the last time? Uh, that the wider you go, the more of a base you're gonna have, so you're gonna have more stability. It's gonna be more, or easier, wider. Wider is easier. The wider you go, the easier it will be because it'll be easier to balance that way, a little wider base. And by the way, for those of you who are wondering, that's Krista's voice. She does talk occasionally. <laughs> okay, so abs are pulled in tight. Now, the entire exercise is Chris is going to drive her right arm into the ground. She's going to push actively that right arm into the ground to hold herself while she picks that left hand up and taps her right shoulder and comes back down. Now, that is deceptively hard. That is a lot harder than it looks because when you do that, when you lift that one arm, you're gonna to wanna to do this and twist all the way to the side. Because to show them what they're gonna to wanna to do, yeah. That's not doing it right. So this is not just an upper, this is really a full body workout because you're working on that core stability as well. It's gonna be a little hard if you do this after the leg lifts. But holding in place, you gotta be really squeezing your abs, especially the sides of your stomach. It's a great, great workout, both for your shoulder health and for your core. Now let's do a couple of them, going really slowly. That's actually really impressive, Krista. You're a strong, strong kid. <laughs> Do you think there's a stronger nurse than you in Baltimore? I don't think so. In the world? Probably not. Fine. In the world? Yeah, in the world. All right. All right. The last piece is that for a lot of you, it's going to be too hard. Just straight up, it's going to be too hard. So, what do you do when a floor exercise? You can come down, kid. <laughs> what do you do when a floor exercise is too difficult? We went through this a couple times. You raise the floor. So, what we're going to do now is you can you can do it with anything in your house. You can do it with an ottoman. You can do it with a chair. You can do it with a table. Right now, I'm going to show you. You can do it with the um, counter. So I'm going to show you with the island over here. Okay, so real simple. Hey, I'll show you real quick. What you're going to do is just start here with one arm, and it's going to be very easy then. Cool. If that gets easy, then you're going to go a little bit lower. Then maybe I'm going to go to this thing over here. That's a little bit lower. Then I'm going to grab a chair, and I'm going to go a little lower. I'm going to work my way down to the floor, but start wherever you're at. Get it done, I'll see you for help, lower body.